Good afternoon everybody on this Monday, August 10th. It's just after lunch and I'm waiting for my team to come back. I've got my hear, um, earbud in my ear. Um, but I'm waiting for my team to come back from lunch break. We are doing our presentation at two o'clock or somewhere around there. Um, and then I think my day is going to be actually over a little bit early today. Actually, we might actually, we might actually have um, a lesson this afternoon. I can't remember. I'm going to head out to the main room, maybe. Oh, there it is. The camera was blocking it. Um, I think we might actually have a lesson this afternoon. Anyhow, um, hmm. let's see. Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Anyhow, um, it is Monday. I'm tired. I actually didn't sleep terribly last night, but I am tired nonetheless. Um, I am trying to take a picture of the information that is going to be um, on our test on Friday. So that's what I need to do. All right, I'm going to head back into my classroom. Yeah, the rest of the day is presentations. Ouch. Sorry, I'm probably not making much sense at all today. Um, anyway, um, John and Nicholas are downstairs. They are, there we go. Um, why am I unmuted? Oh, I feel like I got something in my eyeball. Um, anyway, they're downstairs and hanging out. I think they're walking the dogs right now, to be honest with you. Um, John and I have talked multiple times about that one house um, that we went to see on Saturday and I think we're getting closer to the idea that we might put an offer in on it. Um, we haven't talked to a mortgage counselor yet. I did ask my dad to connect me with somebody um, that he he's not doesn't work with somebody on a regular basis, but he was going to get me a name of somebody to call and talk to them. Um, I have two major concerns. One is Nicholas changing schools. That is very concerning to me. That is the most concerning to me. And my second main concern is um, just moving everything. Like, that's a big job. <laughs> We've got a lot of stuff and I don't even want to move it all. Like I'd want to get rid of some stuff. You know what I mean? Like this room needs cleaned, desperately needs cleaned. So not everything in this room is going to go. Like all the stuff back here, a lot of that's like boxes. You can see there's boxes and stuff. Um, some of that has pictures in it. Um, there's an empty box. There's the, the box for our router is sitting there. The box for my camera is sitting there. So those are just like boxes that I could probably throw away because the likelihood of me actually putting it back in the box, very, very small. So I can put some of that away. Um, over here, we have Yaffa blocks. They don't even exist anymore. I'm glad we got them when we did. We have three sets of them. One that's up here and then two are in our closet. I love those little things. They're awesome. They're great in the closet too. Um, we keep one has shoes in it and the other one has clothes in it. Um, but almost everything in this, this one that's up here can go away, like can get just tossed. Uh, old software that we don't use anymore that we purchased like Microsoft money from 2006. I don't think we need that anymore. Um, so it's just like things like that. You know what I mean? As, as we get ready if if we decide to move that would be one of those things where we would just have to get rid of stuff you know what i mean and it's just it's a big job it is a big job it is a lot of work and <clears throat> along with that one of my concerns is actually physically moving furniture like this sofa oh my golly john and i <sighs> We had one heck of a time getting it through the door <clears throat> because of the way the door and the stairwell is 
Like, you come out the door, you go right down the stairs. I'm scarred from trying to get it in that door. Obviously, we managed it. Um, but we said when we put it in here that it's not moving out of this room without being torn into pieces. So, um, that would have to happen. A lot of the stuff in this room, I actually could move myself like if I took a week off work and I was moving stuff like I can move the rocking chairs I have two over here and I actually have a third one over here and a fourth one somewhere in the house we have another one we've got these two um that John's grandmother got we've got this one over here which is a dark wood it's right there you can't really see it it's right there um that John got from his parents I think I can't remember where we got that one and then we have another one I think it might be in the basement that my mom got us that that one was the, like the traditional um cracker barrel ones that you see outside of cracker barrel so we've actually got four rocking chairs um like those I can even move myself it takes up space but I can move those myself um even like my dresser over here that has all my my makeup in it take the drawers out it's not that heavy i can't move it myself because it's unwieldy it's too big but it's not heavy once all the drawers are out so, so those types of things i'm not worried about but like the beds the refrigerators the sofas those things i'm concerned about like seriously concerned about um the tvs i'm really worried about the tvs so those are the types of things that go through my head that drive me crazy. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Anywho, it's 1.30. I think my team should be coming back any minute now. Um, I just am kind of waiting for them to talk. We're going to be presenting in a half an hour, so there's that. I'm not presenting today. Like, my effort for this lesson is done. We have two more lessons, um, 9 and 10. And we're getting done in four and a half days, actually probably four days. The test on, is on Friday at one o'clock and um, there's like a wrap up after the test where we probably have to do like a class survey and that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, yeah, I can't believe it's finally done and I will be done and I will be happy that I'm done. Very happy. Is my eye turning red? My eye looks really red. This one that I was just stitching. I'm gonna have to go look in the mirror on that. All right, I'm gonna go. I will talk to you guys after work. Oh, my boxy charm came, so I'm going to film that tonight and try to get that posted tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Talk to you guys later. All right, you guys. It is 8:24, and I have eyeshadow all over my face. <laughs> Sorry, right. I was just having some fun. I unboxed my boxy charm, and I decided to use the blues and purples, and just because I don't use blues and purples, so I decided to use the blues and purples today. Um. Yeah, I decided to use the blues and purples today because I wanted to do something a little bit different. All the other shadows in the palette that I got were standard sh shadows that like everyday looks, bronze, copper, those kind of things. Um, and I just had blue and purple and I was like, I'm just gonna go blue and purple. That's all there is to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my makeup off now. I'm gonna start with my neck because I brought that f the foundation I used the whole way down my neck because it is red and it doesn't help that once I start touching my neck, my neck gets really, really red. So, yeah. Anyway, it's 8.30. I worked until 4.30. And then John actually had a meeting with a, t with a parent tonight. So he came up here and was meeting with his parent. And I made dinner. We did a... Um, you guys have heard me talk about, I think, before that we have this beef and broccoli recipe that we do. Um, it's just ground beef with broccoli and then like a cheese sauce. And we really enjoy it. Um, in fact, we made it at the beach for John's family when we went to the beach. Um, I, I said, hey, let's try making this with chicken. So earlier today, John cooked some chicken breasts in preparation for dinner. I seasoned them up really well and you know got them ready and everything like that so he was on his call chicken breast was already done and like the cheese sauce we make it is cream cheese heavy whipping cream parmesan cheese 
and then like any extra seasonings that you want. So I whipped that up real quick, um, threw it in with the chicken, threw it in with the broccoli. We use microwave bro broccoli. So threw it in and had it cooking by the time he got off the call with his parents, his parent. And then we had dinner. And then after dinner, went and drove by a couple more houses. Now, I want to say this. I do like the blue house we saw the other day. I think I showed you a picture. I do like that house. <sighs> Problem is, I want to have my financing in, in order before I go making an offer on a house that I might not end up being able to purchase. Like I'm sure that I, well, I'm not gonna say that. I need to talk to a mortgage counselor and my dad said he would get me a name. I haven't got a name yet. Um, so I'm waiting on that. But before I make an offer, I want to make sure that I have my mortgage ready to go. You know what I mean? I don't want to make an offer and then do that afterwards. So because there's some work quirky things because I'm not going to have this house sold before I buy that house. Now, once I move most of my stuff out of this house, I'm going to do a thorough cleaning. Um, you know, like clean the carpets, like deep clean the carpets, deep clean the carpets, you know, maybe touch up some paint, touch up some, you know, holes and stuff. Um, and you know, things that happen when you're living in a house for 15 years. Um, but I want to get all that patched up and everything. Cause I want to get the most that I can out of my house. Let's be honest. So, um, I need to be able to have a mortgage that I can have in place while I still have this house. So I have to talk to a mortgage counselor, make sure that that can get put in place. I, I've done a bunch of calculators online and it doesn't look like that's going to be a problem um, to get it all in place. Now, I hope to not have two mortgages for more than maybe two or three months. And I will say this, most of the houses in my neighborhood, like the houses like within a block of me, are selling within two or three days. Um, they're getting an offer within two or three days. Now, of course they don't close for 30, 45, 60 days, whatever it is, but they're getting an offer within two or three days. So in theory, once I get this house mostly moved into the new house, whenever that ends up being, it should only be you know, as long as the market doesn't take a totally right turn, um, or about face really, as long as that doesn't happen, I should be able to sell my house within like 30 to 60 days. So as long as that happens, I shouldn't be too, too bad as far as, um, you know, paying the bills and stuff. I should be okay. Um, it's just going to be tight for a couple months until I sell this house, but We'll see, but I want to get my mortgage in place before I make an offer on another house because I want to make sure that that's going to be okay. Um, anyway, and the reason why we're still looking at other houses is because I don't want to be like heartbroken if the um, blue house gets sold. Like from what I'm reading online, once you actually apply for a mortgage, it can take up to like 10 business days for them to get a response back to you. Um, that being said, I don't, you know, I don't know, you know, my house, that house, the blue house that we like could sell in the next 10 days. It could sell in the next three weeks, whatever it takes before I can, um, you know, get a mortgage counselor on the phone and talk to them. So, um, I don't want to be heartbroken. So I'm continuing to look to see if there's anything else that I like on the market. The pickings are very, very slim, very, very slim right now. There's like nothing in my township to stay in the same school district. Like if I want to buy a new house, Nick's going to have to switch. Whoa. I almost dropped you. If, uh, if I, if, if we're going to move, Nick's going to have to change schools. There's just no other option. Um, there's just no other option. So yeah, there's just no inventory in my, in my school district, which is good for me because my house will sell really quickly. Um, not go so good for me because I can't buy a replacement house. Um, the only houses that are currently on the market in my 
uh, township in my school district are brand new builds which I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to. I wouldn't mind having a brand new build. The problem is, is that I have a homeowners association then and I don't want a homeowners association. I have dealt with this one. It's not been terrible, but having to get approval before I do anything to the exterior of my house is very, very frustrating to me. I understand, and what's what's even more frustrating is I found out this last time when we went to the, the meeting in February, I found out that if there is an infraction against the guidelines, they don't do anything about it. So, yeah. Anyhow, it is 8.32. I'm going to edit the BoxyCharm unboxing that I just filmed. Um, and, sorry for the extreme close up. I'm gonna edit the boxy charm unboxing, get that processing, and hopefully I can get that uploading so I can post a video tomorrow on Epic Beauty Fail. Um, and that's gonna be the end of my night. Like I said, it's 8.30. So, today I am thankful that I am one day closer to the end of my month long class, this class that I've been dreading for two years now. Um, I've heard such horror stories about it and it's ended up not being too bad. So I'm really pleased with that. But I'm thankful that I'm one more day closer. One more presentation down. Um, I didn't have to present. Uh, a couple other people in my group had to present. So I've got um, four more days. Three and a half more days. Three and a half more days. Um, and I'll say this. Um, with the test being at one o'clock, they're gonna do a wrap up and everything like that in the afternoon, but really it's gonna be done by lunchtime, other than the test. So I've got three and a half more days and uh, I'm cool with that. We're gonna do two lessons in the next three and a half days. So anyway, I'm thankful that I'm one day closer. That's gonna be it for today. I hope today was better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope you all are having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.